All right, guys, so a, a big update dropped from DJI for the DJI FP system. And this enables this new mode called 50 megabit per second mode. And that basically increases the bandwidth or doubles the bandwidth uh, from 25 megabits per second to 50 megabits per second. And in a nutshell, basically gives you a better image, a better looking picture because you have more um, data that's being sent from the camera to your goggles. Now, in order to, to do that, what it does is it actually combines um, two channels into one and sends basically double the data over two channels. So that's how you achieve 50 megabits per second. So what you're supposed to get is uh, three main channels and one public channel from seven main channels and one public channel. So it basically goes from eight to four, which makes sense. However, after I've done the update on all of my air units and my Vista units, as well as the goggles and transmitter, I'm only getting two regular channels and one public channel, so which is really odd. And I know that a few of you that I posted this on the DJI FPV Facebook group uh, did mention that they're, you're having this as well, although it seems like the vast majority of you guys are getting the normal three plus one in 50 megabits per second mode. Now, my equipment is the FCC equipment. I live in the US region. I've never had any issues with having to do an FCC hack to get the extra power and all the all the FCC uh, goodness. So I don't know uh, why I'm getting this sort of strange result. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments below as to what I might be doing wrong. In terms of uh, the uh, 50 megabits per second function working, it seems to be working just fine. And you'll see the image um, comparison in the flights at the end of the video, so it doesn't seem like I'm missing out on anything. I, I am getting the feature, the double the data rate and the better image. It's just that I'm missing one channel for some odd reason, it's really bizarre. Hey guys, so Albert from the future here and after I recorded this video, I discovered on one of my Facebook postings that someone had suggested to reset the uh, settings or reset the goggle settings to factory and I went ahead and did that and uh, basically just go into the menu it's under device uh, reset all and then you just have to confirm it and then after I did that the missing channel has appeared in 50 megabit mode so now I have the full three channels and the public channel as I should so if you're having that trouble that's um, what you need to do just go in and reset the goggle to factory settings and that will uh, restore the third channel for you so if you guys happen to know what's causing that, um, let me know. I I have reflashed my goggles, transmitter, and the air units multiple times. It's happening on all of my air units, and it doesn't matter what location I'm at, so it's not an interference thing. So yeah, I'm not really sure what's causing that. So yeah, if you guys know, know let me know down in the comments below. Uh, another feature they added in this firmware update, in addition to a bunch of bug fixes, um, I'll put up the release notes here if you want to read them. But the uh, update when you actually are in 25 megabits per second mode um, gives you the signal strength and the channel, the frequency range of each channel. So you have an idea of like what those kind of correspond to in terms of analog channels and it shows you the what, um, which channels are looking good for, you know, good signal versus bad signal. So uh, that's another thing they added in this firmware update. Now on a different topic, and I didn't test this in terms of range, uh, apparently some guys have, have already done this update and they have done a range test and gone out to like, I don't know, seven miles or something like that. So I guess the, previously there was like a four kilometer or four mile, uh, like a hard wall where basically you just, the video would just cut out no matter what, um, no matter how strong your signal is, whatever antennas you're using. Apparently that's gone now, they fixed that. So uh, there's guys going out like 10 kilometers now or something like that. So that's rumors I've been hearing up on some of the other RC groups and Facebook groups. Um, I haven't confirmed that myself, but to me, it doesn't look like this uh, This particular update, firmware update really gives you that much better range. Cause I have done some, some anecdotal testing on 25 milliwatts and on 25 milliwatts, it's about the same. 200 milliwatts seems about the same. Where I think you're gonna see a better results is at higher powers, like 500 and 700 milliwatts, and when you're closer. So when you're closer, you have a stronger signal, you're gonna get the maximum 50 megabits per second bit rate, which means you're gonna get the maximum possible quality image in your goggles, 
And so you're probably gonna get that a little bit further. In terms of focus mode, it also probably means that with a higher bit rate, the focus mode isn't gonna kick in as soon as it would under the lower bit rate. So that's another benefit. But in terms of like the, you know, in terms of like maximum range increase, I think it's there for certain people on not like, you know, 700 milliwatts or 1200 milliwatts, but I haven't tested that. Not, I don't really do long range, but um, there might be some of that at the higher powers and you do get a better image for longer distance at the higher bit rate, of course, because you're combining two channels. So in terms of the lower latency that some guys are speculating about, it seems like the latency is about the same as before. I don't really notice any difference. It doesn't seem like you're getting a huge improvement in latency at, at 50 megabits. In my opinion, it's just, you know, I don't, it, it, to me, it just seems about the same. So I'm not really going to be doing too much testing on that. I mean, the difference, you know, I mean, before you see a really huge difference, you got to go from like, 25 uh, milliseconds to you know under 10 milliseconds and I wasn't seeing anything like that on this update. Now in terms of the um, goggle DVR recordings, so previously when you did the DVR recordings um, they would record at 20 megabits per second and so even though you're getting 25 megabits per second data rate from the air units to the goggles and actually seeing that was recorded to the SD card was only at 20 megabits per second. So after the update, I noticed that the 25 megabits per second um, mode was being recorded to the SD card at like 35, 30 to 35 megabits per second. And then the 50 megabits per second mode was being recorded to the SD card at about 40 megabits. So it went from 20 to 40. Uh, in the goggle. Now that that I can confirm that I, I was actually definitely seeing that in my recordings. So if you're trying to do a test of the 25 megabits per second mode, uh, you're going to get a higher bit rate recording with this newer firmware versus the older firmware that would max out at 20 megabits per second. In terms of like the image quality, I think it's going to be a little bit better, but you know, I think you're still limited to that 25 megabits per second maximum bit rate in that mode. Now, there are some guys saying that the data rate, the bit rate recorded to the air units, if you have the DJI air units, went from 40 megabits to 80 megabits. However, I can't confirm that, and all of my recordings are coming out at 40 megabits, just as the same as before. So, it might be that my SD cards are too slow, perhaps, uh, and I'm using some U3 cards. So, and I'm still getting 40 megabits max. So I don't, I've no, I've, I've, I've seen some postings out there where people were saying that, yeah, you know, they're getting 80 megabits. I'm not getting that. Perhaps it's related to the firmware update that I got. Maybe I got a crippled firmware update or something. I don't know. But that, in terms of the air unit recordings, for me, I'm only getting 40 megabits, megabits per second. Okay, so enough of me rambling on talking about all this stuff here. Let's, let's go ahead and show you the, the flight footage and you guys can see for yourself if you notice that big of a difference. In the goggles at 50 megabits, when you get the full 50 megabits bit rate in the goggles, to me, it does seem to be a better looking image overall. Um, whether or not this is gonna translate to YouTube after YouTube has mingled it with compression, uh, <laughs> You guys can be the judge of that. I'll go ahead and just show you the flights and I'm, I'm going to narrate what I'm seeing and you guys can kind of compare the 25 megabits versus the 50 megabits. And then this is at 200 milliwatts for the two flights and then at the very end I'm going to do a 700 milliwatt flight on a different Vista unit. The, the first two are going to be the DJI air unit and the last one is the Vista air unit at 700 milliwatts. And that one, at, when you're at 700 milliwatts, you're going to be at 50 megabits pretty much the whole time if you're not flying too far away or if there's not too much interference. So go ahead and take a look at all these this footage here. Hopefully YouTube doesn't mingle it too much and let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. All right, so I'm on uh, 200 milliwatts of power, focus mode off, low latency mode on, and this is the 25 megabit mode. And I am right over there. And I'm going to see, I'm going to try and go behind these buildings here, try and get some um, pixelation, and then we'll compare that to how it looks in 50 megabit mode. Let 
you're going to see a lot of pixelation in like things like the trees and the grass. Pretty clean over here, I'm pretty close. 200 milliwatts, you're going to not see too many problems. I'm going behind this building here. This building is in between me. And I'm getting a low signal. Still pretty decent bit rate. 18 or so. My signal's down to one. One bar. Uh, this is going to be good. Okay, so we're getting some pixelation right here. You can see those uh, trees by those buildings in the background are all blurry. Alright, so we can see what this looks like under 50 megabits. So I'm over in that direction there, so I got clean bars. Better signal. Let's go this way. Let's go behind this building. These are metal buildings, so a lot of interference. I can't do this on analog, by the way. I've tried, I've tried doing this on analog, and I, I usually just crash around here. All right. Pretty bad signal here. Let's take a look at this tree. Some pixelation. Oh yeah, right here, pretty bad signal. Really bad pixelation here. 1.7 megabits. Oh, and I feel saved. All right, so. I'm gonna go back there. I think that was a bad spot. Uh, still on 200 milliwatts. I'm in 50 megabit mode this time. And let's see how the image looks. Low latency. Yeah, the image looks definitely a little bit better. Just looks cleaner overall. Just not as much, it doesn't look as muddled, muddied. Especially the things like the building there. Like all these little plants, the vegetation, everything looks sharper. But I'm 50 megabits right now. Let's see how this tree looks here. Pretty clean, and this building here looks a lot cleaner, not as muddied. Still 50 megabits. And these plants over here, pretty decent. Alright, let's go back here, behind this building. And let's see how this looks here. Looks pretty good. And those trees back there in the back by that building are still muddied. Even though, well, now I'm at 60, I'm at 12 megabits here behind this building. I think it's because the building's interfering. So let's, uh, let's head on back here. So I'm thinking that when you have very, um, when your bitrate gets low anyway, because of things like interference or things getting in the way, it doesn't really matter. I think it only matters when you're closer. And you can achieve the higher than 25 megabit bit rate. So let's go, let's go out this way here. Where I have clear line of sight. And let's take a look at these trees over here. Yeah. At 50 megabits, the trees just look so much cleaner. Super clean. It looks like GoPro footage in the goggles. I like the birds.
I think that's the main difference is at the higher bit rate when you have a good signal you're just going to get a much better looking image. It doesn't look like it helps that much in terms of penetration. It might help in terms of focus mode turning on later. Of course I'm not in focus mode so but just look how clean that picture looks. It looks so much cleaner than before. Anyway, that is running out. Let me know what you guys think.